we are ready to talk about step three in the quieting your inner critic process. You've done your homework, your pre-work, you know when your inner critic tends to show up and the messages that they use. You have gotten to know your inner critic from step one, shined a light on him or her in step two. Now we're going to talk about reframing. When I give you my personal examples, I'll refer to my inner critic as she, and her name is Joy. I've, I've named my inner critic Joy because she's very sneaky, and she seems to think she knows what I need to do to make me happy and keep me safe. When we reframe, we recognize that it is our inner critic who's speaking and that the messages that we're hearing are simply not the truth. I'll give you a couple of examples from my personal life to give you an idea on how you can reframe the negative messages that you hear from your inner critic. Every single time I step on a conference stage or facilitate a workshop, joy shows up. And the typical messages that I'll hear in my mind are things like, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous, or I'm not ready you know, for this. I, I, I'm not gonna remember the data on slide two. That's always a challenge for me in my practice. And the second I hear those messages, I stop and reframe them to typically something like this. I'm not nervous, I'm excited. I'm anxious to get out there and connect with the audience. Uh, as far as the forgetting things, I'll tell myself, I'm not going to forget anything. I've practiced and I'm ready. By reframing those messages, it makes us ready to move forward. We feel like we can take that next step. Another way that our inner critic often shows up is with either or messages. That anytime you get an either or message or you're thinking uh, negative thoughts about shame or a situation where you're not actually solving, you're just continually in your mind thinking of all the potential negative consequences, we know that our inner critic has shown up. Either or messages will sound something like this. Either I have 100% of the requirements for a job posting or I'm absolutely not the right candidate and have no business applying for the job. When you hear yourself thinking, oh my gosh, I don't have the qualifications, I'm not going to apply for this, stop and reframe that, recognizing the things that you do have. Look at the job application and think, oh, this is ridiculous. Of, of course I don't have everything on the job application. Nobody will. So I do have these things. I'm really good at you know, uh, these five requirements and I can learn the rest. So I'm going to apply and we'll see what happens. Uh, the inner critic also shows up when you're taking big steps like starting a new business. Your inner critic will tell you that Oh my gosh, I, I don't know how to do all the things I need to do to start a business. It's ridiculous to even start. Stop and reframe that. Recognize the valuable product or service that you will bring to the marketplace and that you do know the first steps you need to take or you can learn them and you'll learn so much along the journey about what you don't know. Always reframing gets you in that state of mind where you're ready to take the next big step. Follow the three-step process. That is step one, getting to know your inner critic. Step two is shining a light on him or her. And then step three is reframing. Let me know in the comments how that goes for you, what steps you're taking because you use the three-step process, and let's start a conversation. I will post additional tips in the next few videos on other ways that you can quiet your inner critic after you've taken the three-step process. I really look forward to hearing your comments and suggestions. Please subscribe, let me know um, how these steps have been helpful for you and what you'd like for us to talk about next. Thank you so much and have a great day.